Hello, gay all day folks. Um, we had a question that I get a lot. Uh, it's a pretty simple question. How do you measure your vertical leap? Uh, I'm going to tell you how to measure your vertical leap and uh, a little trick that I use um, to keep me motivated every workout. Because, anyways, let, let's get to how to measure your vertical leap and then I'll get to the little trick on uh, how to push a little harder each workout. First of all, uh, all you do is you reach up as high as you can and don't cheat. Get your shoulder up there as high as you can and Notice what how high you can reach. For example, if I reach this high, then you put a little mark. What you can do is put a little dirt on your finger and make a mark. And then uh, stand. There's many types of vertical leaps. There's your standing. There's your one step, two step. Got your three step. Uh, you can do your running one foot, your running two foot, whatever you want. And uh, another guy asked when people say what the vertical is, does it mean you're standing or you're running? I love the answer was uh, ask the guy who said it because. It just depends on which what they were doing. Were they running? Were they standing? Etc. So, anyways, make a mark at your reach, jump, and if you want, you can put a little bit of you know something on the tip of your finger and touch and make a mark at the highest. Then just measure the distance in between. That is your vertical leap. So make a mark, jump, and make another mark. Measure the distance in between. Some people like to put a piece of tape and see and put the piece of tape up there. Um, so here's one thing that I do if you don't have something to touch. Um, and here's, here's the important thing about measuring your vertical leap. Every exercise you do, you should be able to measure. Because if you can't measure the intensity of that exercise, how do you know if you're pushing hard enough? You see, you've got to push hard enough every exercise to get results at all. Uh, if you jump, if you jump 500 times at a very low level, uh, and you can already jump this high, it's not doing you any good. In fact, it may be hurting your vertical. That's why it's very important to measure. Uh, for for example, if you could do an exercise that you do at this height or at this intensity level, you want to try and get here or a little bit higher every single workout. So measuring uh, is extremely important. That's why every exercise in the jump manual we make trackable so that you know what your goal is today on that specific exercise. Anyway, so what I like to do, um, and also I always bring a measuring tape with me because the hoops are always different sizes, couple inches too high, couple inches too low, and so it might give you a false sense of progress, or you might think, why did my vertical go down today? So I like to bring a measuring tape. Another thing is, if I can touch, say, uh, you see this little wall let's say I just was able to start touching the top of here well once I can touch it I try and touch it with my knuckle once I can touch it with my knuckle I try and touch it with this other knuckle and then my wrist and then my elbow so you can find no matter where you're at you can find something and every day I recommend uh, you get a max jump or two in or more uh, you don't want to overdo it but you're trying to train your body uh, the exact technique to get a maximum jump so you should have something like this or anything that you can't touch yet and you're always trying to reach for uh, so if this is something you can't touch oh, got it now every time you know once a day or w when you get a chance now you're trying to touch it with your knuckle you go by there and you can touch it uh, when I was trying to have something to gauge my progress and I didn't have much because uh, I was living in a little apartment in an island uh, I use something like this. I can touch it, barely touch it. I need to reach a little further. It's that pushing a little bit further that over time becomes a lot. So uh, you really need to have something that's making you reach and making you push. So uh, if there's something right now that you can't quite touch, we've got a manual that's called How to Jump Higher in 45 Minutes. And I guarantee you, if you're just a couple inches off, uh, you could probably touch it today in 45 minutes. It's got some techniques that will help you jump higher by jumping differently, by moving your body differently, by using techniques uh, that many of them are taken from the track and field industry because um, they understand how technique affects your jump height. So we took a lot of them from there. Um, and you can get that workbook for free today. Uh, and you can get it from this link.
somewhere. So grab that, that workbook. Let me know if you have any questions about measuring your vertical or the importance of tracking. If you are a jump manual user and you're saying, how do I get access to these, our tracking worksheets or our online tracking system, uh, let me know or just go to support. Sometimes people post questions who are jump manual users. Well, y'all can always go to support and we will support you. So, uh, guys, remember, work on your game. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you check back next week, the same day, to catch more tutorial content. Check out all my favorite content up here, all my social networks, you can follow me over here. Make sure you are subscribed to catch all my new content coming out here on this channel every single day. Work on your game.